Lesson 5.4, Employee Benefits. Please make sure you read the article before you start the lesson. We have quite a few key terms in this one today. Insurance, paid vacation time, paid time off, also known as PTO, retirement plans, stock ownership plans, child care leave, family health care, individual health care, pension, unemployment insurance, and workers' compensation. You also have base period. Example one, Alan works for a printing company. It's been a little over four years since he was hired. He now makes $54,080 per year. When he was hired, he was told that he had five days of paid vacation time. For each year that he worked at the company, he gained another two paid days of vacation time to a maximum of 20. You cannot have any more than 20. How many paid vacation days does he now get at the end of his four years of employment? And how much money will he earn while he's actually on vacation those days? The easiest way to see this would be a table. So let's go ahead and make a table. My table is going to look at the number of years worked. And that's going to tell me the number of paid vacation days. Now, how did I pick these two? It's because how many days he has available is based on how many years he has worked. So the day that he got hired, he ended up having five days. After one year of working, he was able to add another two years of paid vacation time. So he had the five, he got to add another two, so he actually has seven now. His second year ending, he had the seven, he got to add another two days, so now he has nine. At the end of his third year, he got to add another two to his plan, so now he has 11. At the end of his fourth year, he got to add another two to give him a total of 13 paid dates. So it had two questions in here. The first question was, how many paid vacation days does he have at the end of the two, at the end of the four years? He has 13 days. So that is the answer to question number one. Question number two wants to know, how much money does he actually earn on those 13 days? So to figure this out, we're going to have to first figure out how many weeks of work is 13 days. He does not work the weekends. He only works Monday through Friday. So 13 days of vacation. Well, week one would give him five days, Monday through Friday. A week two would give him another five days, so he has 10 days total now. At the end of week two, he has three more days left out of the five that he has to work that week. So how many weeks did he work? He had to work two weeks and then he got three more days. So he had two and three fifths of a weeks available of paid vacation. Two full weeks and then three of the next five days paid vacation. So this is how many weeks he's gonna get paid. Well, we need to figure out what he earns. We know that he makes $54,080 per year. Well, if he makes that per year, how much does he make per week? If he divided among the 52 weeks, we know how much he's going to get paid per week. So $54,080 divided by 52 weeks, he gets paid $1,040 per week. So if he gets this pay, Per week, and this is how many weeks of vacation time he has available, how much does he earn? So he gets paid this much per week, and he's going to work two and three-fifths week of vacation. So how much money does he earn while sitting on the beach on vacation? So we have 1,040 multiplied by two and three-fifths. Three-fifths is 0.6, so this is being multiplied to 2.6. 1,040 multiplied by 2.6 is 2704 on my calculator. But what does that mean? This was how much he got paid while on vacation. So this is $2,704.00. And this is how much he got paid while on 13 days of vacation. So because it's talking about days, most people would want to have taken this total year and divided it by 365 days. The only problem with that is you are not working every single one of those 365 days. We are working every week. 
we are not working 365 days. So we had to write it in terms of something we knew we were working fully by. So we had to divide by weeks. Now let's check your understanding. We're going to let X represent the number of working years for Alan at the company. And we're going to let Y represent his number of paid vacation days. Based on the table that we made in example one up above, we need to use our pattern to write an algebraic expression that models the relationship between how many years you've worked and how many vacation days that you get. So we know that the number of paid vacation days comes from you always starting with five when you get hired and you always add two days per year that you work. So my number of vacation days, they said to let that be represented by Y. So my number of paid vacation days, I always start with five, and now I have to add, I get two days per year. Per means multiply. So I have two being multiplied by, what did they say years represented? It said X represented the number of years he was working. So I multiply in that by 2x. So this is my equation. How many days do I get? 5 plus 2 per year.